Yo, this be the one them called Tech Nine, and I'm with Darian Saffron, and my Cali baby, Chris Calico. We here on Wild 101, man, about to kill here in Boise, baby, ain't that right? This is Idaho's party station, Wild 101. Throwback lunch time. Got somebody very special in the studio with me today. Actually, three very special people. So I want everybody to give them a big round of applause. First of all, Darian Saffron. Hey. We also have Mr. Chris Calico. One clap, one clap. One, just one clap. <laughs> one clap. <laughs> one guy clap. <laughs> and the man that needs no, intro- no introduction, Tech Nine. Good morning, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you're here yeah. to host the throwback lunch with me today. I picked Gold Digger first from uh, Kanye. Uh, I think that was an innovative song. And uh, we try to stay clear of Gold Diggers, like the n- new song we have on uh, Dominion that comes out Friday. It's called Wheels Like Hill. We get wheels like Tariq Hill on a chick. That's gold digging, you know what I'm saying? We get away real quick because nobody can beat Tariq Hill running, you know what I'm saying? Is it is it easy to spot the gold diggers? Oh, yeah, it's easy. It's easy. It's easy. <laughs> Any telltale signs? Yeah, you know, the first conversation with them is their bills. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tech, you know, it's nice to meet you and also about this cell phone bill. I mean, seriously, just like that? Huh? But if I can't get you, love, then what's a telephone bill, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Text pick for the throwback lunch. It is Kanye West Gold Digger on Wild 101. <laughs> Idaho's party station, Wild 101 Tech 9. Big show last night at the Knitting Factory. That show sold out a couple days ago, man. Yeah, it did, man. It always sells out here, man. It's always a party. I got Darian who flew in to do the show with me, you know what I'm saying, for the first time on the tour. Chris Calico is on murder mode. So is Seth's crew and Brother Lynch Hung and Stevie Stone. It's just a group of killers here to kill everything in sight. In a good way, though, you know what I'm saying? I don't mean like Syria or anything like that, that kind of murdering, because we don't condone any of that murdering, you know what I'm saying? We love I everybody. Talking, I'm actually here to actually kill people. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to murder somebody before I leave. All yeah. right, Darian, I don't want to steal too much of VJ's thunder, because I know he's going to ask you about this uh, this afternoon, but we watched a YouTube video of you performing at the Apollo Theater. Oh, yeah. Let's hear an acapella hey, thing. Baby, how you doing? Hope that you're fine, but I know what you got in mind and I Got me feel like Joe to see, I can't leave you alone Take a shot of this hit Patron, and it's gonna be on VIP and gotten way too crowded I'm about to end up calling you tonight You should holler at your girls, tell them you're shaking the scene uh, pulled up PP shotgun in the GT with me. She said, oh, 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 I'm ready to ride. I was like, yeah, cause once you get inside, you can't change your mind. Don't mean to sound impatient. You gotta promise, baby. Wow. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> that's, that's one of my go-tos. I, I like that song by Usher a lot. It's, it's a pretty good record. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. You did it justice, man. Very yeah. well done. Yeah, thank you, man. Actually, uh, the, the whole situation with the Apollo, I was singing Chain, 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 because that's, that's what my dad used to bring me up on when I was growing up. I, gr- I grew up on a lot of soul music. That's why sometimes when I hit those high notes, I got like a little grunge to it, because I grew up singing like Aretha Franklin and Jackie Wilson and uh, Tina Turner, things of that nature. So. All right, so you're out on the road with Tech 9 What's that like? It's, it, it's, this it's is crazy. the start. This is the start <laughs> is yeah I we've been know. we've done shows together before but this is just the start on the yeah. tour so he has to be on a tour bus and go from yeah. city to city with us for like <laughs> the next 10 days you know I, what i'm saying i so. actually just went to the tour bus just they they were just showing me what it was like and stuff they was like yeah so here we we uh, uh this we got the game room blah 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 and the first thing they showed me was the ps4 and dude was showing me the call of duty and i was like bro i've been trying to beat this zombie thing for that. I'm, I'm like i'm gonna be so chilling he, up on this bus he's, he's on the right bus <laughs> yeah, all right. I first know. i was worried that he wasn't on the right bus but i think he's on the right all yeah, right. Well, well, good deal. We're hosting the Throwback Lunch with Tech Nine, Chris Calico, and Darian Saffron. Uh, yeah. Tell me about this Missy Elliott track, Work It, you picked. Work It. Let me work it. It was, it was crazy because I've been rapping backwards for a long time, man. You know what I'm saying? And when it came out, people were like, Missy bit you. I'm like, she did not bite me. Nobody's rapping backwards. It's your rim and my flan. Yeah, come on. It's your rim and my flan. Yeah, because I mean, I have no time for the punk ish. Run it back, run it back. Ish off McOrgorf. He met on it. I did that in like my teens. You know what I'm saying? So when Work It came out, it was like a breath of fresh air. I like, finally, somebody's doing something backwards. It's your rim and my flan. Yeah, come on. And made it like danceable. You know what I mean? So if I take those words that you just rapped backwards, will it say the right words when I play it, if I reverse it? No, because it's like dyslexia. It's that kind okay. of backwards. I write them backwards and say it. Oh. It's not the same like a computer. 
You know what I'm saying? Well, still, that's a hell of a talent, man. That's yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of time on your hands. All right, Missy Elliott, work it. This is Wild 101. Idaho's party station, Wild 101. It is the throwback lunch, Tech 9, Darian Saffron, and Chris Calico in the studio. So tell me about the Dominion. Y'all sent me ideas, right? Y'all said yeah. this is this is the, this is the, this is different because me and Chris usually get the beats from 7, come up with the verses and the hooks and send them out to the artist. This time, the artist sent them to me. Mm-hmm. So... Darian sent me low down, you know what I'm saying, from seven, you know what I mean? We did reload it. Reload it. They that, sent me that. that. that I didn't choose none of these beats. You know yeah. what I'm saying? These are my artists. Like, here, here's one for you, you know? Same thing with JL, same thing with Chris, you know what I mean? They sent them all to me, and uh, it, it made wonderful music. Mm-hmm. That's about Dominion. That's the difference between all the other collabo tracks because we've never done it this way I, I think i like it this way better so it seems like you guys are the kind of people that are constantly making music would you say that every song that you write makes it to an album or are some of them just kind of held in the back catalog and hey let's come back to that in six months or i write stuff to use on the record so if i write 32 tracks i'm trying to use every damn one of them how do you stay so inspired to have that constant output of music what keeps you inspired i feel like if you're an artist a true artist like you wake up and do your craft whatever your art is that's that's what you were meant to do because you wake up and you do that you know what i mean like you like you as a radio host like you you probably love being able to speak on the mic like constantly like you probably love that like i love being able to go home and and, and write something and and, and and express my emotions through my music and be able to have other people feel them same emotions pretty deep man do you like the dog on the mic or are you like, no, you're wrong, Gary. <laughs> I hate coming in here every day. My job isn't hard. It's not like I'm out digging ditches, you know, staying funny, staying relevant. That's the most difficult thing I have to do. But oh, yeah, the good yeah. thing I have going for me is my sarcastic, smart-ass wit and humor. So okay. <laughs> that's all I got. got that in common. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like life uh, inspires me to keep writing. You know, life keeps happening to me. So... Uh, I keep writing as it happens, you know what I mean? If I was just an artist that was just trying to write um, songs for radio, like back-to-back, back, you know what I mean? Maybe it, 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 maybe I wouldn't have as much substance, I don't know, but I write those kind of tracks, like Who Go Crazy and Everybody But Me and Get Off Me and all those songs that we do, like Fragile and stuff like that, but, you know, I write my life within these songs as well, you know what I mean? And they just happen to work for radio, and that's a wonderful thing. It's a bigger reward for me when they go gold, when some something like my heart is put down on Fragile, mm. and you didn't mean for it to be a radio song, and then it pops, you know what I'm saying? And uh, same thing with Who Go Crazy, we partying, you know what I'm saying? When I say Saturday morning, I ain't gotta work. Last night's show, sir, a lot of merch. Bad chick in my bed, so I ain't gotta jerk. Forbes list caught me so it's hard to make the dollar hurt. I'm talking real life stuff. All we need is good green and some blue. That's real. All we need is good green and some caribou loop. Five to one, so it's guaranteed you can do you. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be more chicks than dudes <laughs> at my party. I'm just talking my real life, and for them to go, I'm inspired to write my life, even if it's on, even if it's on a party track. I could go on for days. So let's let's get on some uh, R&B really quick. I noticed you chose Black Street, No Diggity for the throwback lunch. Oh, Is that heard, what's that? Yeah, we, we just, just heard a dude do an acoustic version at a restaurant. No like, Diggity, downtown. he was killing it. Yeah, I, I love the video a, for I that gave him song a $50 too. Bill, man, he was doing so good. You gave him a fifty dollar yeah, bill. Yeah, because he was doing Black Keys. Uh, what song was it? Uh, lonely boy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a lonely boy. Mm. I'm a lonely boy. Whoa. They was playing that, and that's my jam. You know what I mean? So I went out there and. And after I gave him the 50, he brought in that no diggity. I was about to give him another 50. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but I, we love Black Street, man. You know what I'm saying? We love Teddy Riley and everything he did, even the, even back in the Zoom, 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 and the Boom, Boom days. You know what I mean? We've always been fans of Teddy Riley. Actually in the Zoom, 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 yeah. Zoom, Boom, Boom, Boom. I don't think anybody can hate Street, that video how either. You hate that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a Boom, Boom, Boom. But Black Street was innovative, and I think it had, I think this song has something to do with Dr. Dre, if I'm not mistaken. Dr. Dre is on it. Yeah, yes, he sir, produced yes, it. Sir. Yes, oh, sir. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. You know I mean, what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. yeah, 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 that's yeah, right. yeah. Right. So it was a big song, and um, I love it a lot to this day, and that's why I chose it. Let's get into it. Throwback Lunch is on Idaho's Party Station, Wild 101, Darian Saffron, Chris Calico, and Tech Nine in the studio with me. Now, uh, Tech, you hosted the uh, Throwback Lunch with me today, which I really appreciate. Thank you. Can you point to five throwback tracks, or maybe new songs, that everybody should have on their phone or whatever it is they use to listen to music? Some of these might be over your head, not your head, but some people's heads. Uh, 
on the slow tip floor tree a song called sometimes you make me smile like if you miss somebody you're probably gonna cry you know what i'm saying <laughs> you got any tupac that you would suggest somebody listen to yeah, something that not everybody knows uh, it's off the thug life record straight balling to my it's in the penitentiary look up like a month when you mention me Cause you f***ing with the realest nigga Like I'm ever born And once it's been a song I'm busting on these bitches Till they gone Who the hell can they get to stop me I'm in the projects Parlaying with my posse You know what I'm saying It's just so wonderful And he used like a uh, A sample from like Bootsy I think uh, You know So wonderful You know what I'm saying So uh, I would say Rebel Without a Pause from uh, Public Enemy, from um, It Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back record, a Vibrant Thing by Q-Tip. We man. play that. We'll what? play that for you. Yeah, play Vibrant Thing. That's the only thing that gets me on the floor, man. You know, it's a couple of songs that get me on the floor, man. I went from dancing to rapping. After I started rapping, I got too cool to dance. So if I'm playing the bar, because I, I stay at the bar and drink and buy everybody drinks and stuff, but when Vibrant Thing comes on, bum, 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 Oh, it's just something about it. Uh, uh, girl. Real good girl. Uh, uh, biggest thing in itty bitty world. It's just, <laughs> I can't help it. You know what I'm saying? That and Planet Rock, you know what I'm saying, by Africa Bambada and the Soul Sonic Force. Anything from them, like play at your own risk, you're Planet Rock 2 pretty much, you know what I'm saying, or looking for the perfect beat. Anything breakdance or out in the fish, it's time, you know what I'm saying, the soul, you know what I'm saying, anything breakdance is going to get me on the floor, but if you want me to start getting jiggy and stuff like that, play Vibrant Thing. Text picks for your uh, for your playlist, so get those jiggy. downloaded today. Please get jiggy, please jiggy. get jiggy, please. <laughs> jiggy, that's too old school. Me and Darian Song, our new, our new record called Get Off Me, he, him and Seven sent this record to me for my last album, uh, The Storm, yeah. and that, it was moving like on some like uh, barrier, boom, boom. I'm just made me want to pop my collar. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Hey, boom, boom, boom. See, like you can have a uh, 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 kick the sneak on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I'm There's like, yeah, I'm with that. You know what I'm saying? I mess with the Bay hard. You know what I'm sizzling? Word to Yuck Mouth and uh, 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 E40 and uh, uh, Too Short and all my family out there. You know what I'm sizzling? Uh, so when Darian sent it to me, you know what I'm saying? He's like, I think you sound good on this one. I'm like, dude, I'm with you all day. You know what I mean? It was a party track. It was a club. It was like mix, mix show type music. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, I'm glad we shot a video for it. Problem got on it and did killed his it. thing. What? You know what I mean? Yeah, and we it. shot a video in Kansas City. We flew Problem and his people down, man. Me and Darian. Darian's doing Scarface in there. Yeah. He got chicks <laughs> all over him. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's beautiful, man. I'm in a cooped up suit, but I look all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> we did Goodfellas. You know what I mean? Wonderful song. Wonderful single. It's our new single. It's called Crazy Get Off video Me. Too. Featuring that. Darian Saffron and uh, Problem and Tech Nine, man. I love the fact that you guys get so excited about your music. You know, a lot of people look at the stuff that they make as just, oh yeah, this is my song, no. this is my art. But this is all we got. You guys, yeah, yeah, this, this yeah, personal, exactly. yeah, strange yeah, music. This, it's personal because yeah, we have right. to show, just because we're different, we have to show that we can still compete. Yeah. And people look at stuff that's different. Oh, he's corny, he paints his face, but they can't touch me on the mic. What are you talking about? We make music. Good music. Mm -hmm. Everybody can vouch for it. Eminem vouched for it. He did it. Gary Clark Jr. vouched for it. Elton John just vouched for it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jonathan Davis of Corn. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Corey Taylor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Stokely Williams from Mint Condition. Uh, oh. We could just keep going, the rock, dog. The rock. the rock. You know what I'm saying? We could just keep going. Everybody. Lil Wayne, T Pain, uh, Two, Chain. Two Chains, uh, T.I., uh, 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 Tupac. I got a song with Tupac from 97 called Thugs Girl Only Two. They don't know I've been around. The Wake Up Show, Sway and Tech. Everybody will tell you that it's a real thing. But we're so got a chip on our shoulder because everybody pointed at us like we're the the kids on the outside. But we're gonna keep on banging on these doors until we break them the hell down. I think if anything in the industry, you guys have respect. I mean, totally. If not, you should because yeah, they, <laughs> no, we do. Don't don't yeah. sleep on strange music. No, we do. Seriously. So when you see the show we do tonight, it's because we're trying to take it all the way up. Uh, How did you feel when you found out that Elton John was trying to buy your music at a record store? That's the kind of validation that you you dream to have from a from a from a musician of his magnitude. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know that he's a genius when it comes to music. 
Candle in the Wind? Come on, man. You know, all these songs, man. Somebody that writes beautiful music went in checking for my beautiful music, for our beautiful music. Would you do a song with Elton John? Of course. You think we're going to hook up? We already just sent him records and everything. The the latest LPs and some of the vinyl, we sent it to him already. I'm going to talk to him about doing a song. I'm going to talk to him about his homie, Billy Joel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, I love it. I got plans. I love it, man. Well, thanks for joining me today. This is Idaho's Party Station. Wild 101.